Hi everyone, thanks for watching this. My name is Carlo Berlina, I'm a graduate student at MIT. And my poster is about my work on measurements of solar nebula magnetic fields from CO chondrites. So here is an overview of my poster. I would like to start by talking about the protoplanetary disk. For people that are not familiar with it, this is essentially the birthplace of planets and stars in our universe. And magnetic fields are active in those environments and playing a central role in their evolution. However, it's very challenging to obtain magnetic measurements from protoplanetary disks through astronomical observations. So all we can do is conduct paleomagnetic measurements with meteorites because some of them form during the protoplanetary disk phase of our solar system, and they could have recorded uh, the magnetic fields from that time. Additionally, isotopic evidence supports that two reservoirs ex existed in the early solar system. These are the non-carbonaceous and the carbonaceous reservoirs. So what we can do is essentially use samples that form in those two distinct reservoirs to probe the magnetic field in two distinct regions in the early solar system. So here uh, we are uh, determining the magnetic field in the carbonaceous reservoir. And the way we do that is by conducting paleomagnetic measurements with uh, carbonaceous chondrites. These are samples that have multiple components uh, that recorded the magnetic field at different times in different locations. So we have the CAIs, the calcium aluminum rich inclusions, the very first solids to form in the solar system. You have the conges, which formed a few uh, million years later. And then finally, we have the matrix, which clumps it all together uh, into one main sample. Uh, we are conducting, we're, we're, we're conducted and we're conducting magnetic measurements in each one of those components. The matrix record, we should be submitting our results soon. The conjures, we just submitted and I'm gonna be talking about it in this poster. And then we, I have some ongoing um, analysis of CAIs that I'm gonna be reporting in this poster as well. So specifically, uh, we targeted the dusty olivine conjures because those are known to be robust paleomagnetic targets. In this particular meteorites, those are 100, 200 microsize inclusions. And uh, because of their weak magnetic moments, we, we use the squid microscope to obtain paleo intensities. We also obtain the we also use the QDM to obtain maps from those samples to determine from where within the samples the, 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 the magnetic signal was coming from and if that was consistent with the location of uh, the dusty grains. Uh, we also conducted unidirectionality and conglomerate tests and those are consistent with the acquisition of a stable TRM in the protoplanetary disk environment. And then uh, finally, our records when compared to previous measurements as well as models uh, support the presence of a gap in the protoplanetary disk, which would be uh, the reason why we have uh, two reservoirs in the first place. I also have uh, initial CAI analysis that we are conducting using the QDM here. Uh, those measurements are, uh, uh, my, my provide us with a robust record of the magnetic field from less than 0.1 million years of uh, the protoplanetary disk. So I'm excited to show that to you. Uh, feel free to uh, reach out. We can talk uh, during the session and I'll see